Dear station residents, I want to address a shocking allegation made against me by Island Council member Clyde Van Putten on radio in St. Martin. While I do not intend to repeat this spurious allegation, it imputes improper motives on my part and suggests that I have brought the Office of Government Commissioner into this repute. In both my personal and professional life, I have always tried to make a human connection. This is who I am. I have offered advice, assistance and support both to young and the elderly. I have tried to show that I care about people and my island to provide solace and comfort. I have done so publicly sometimes, but often in private, but not once. Never ever have I acted inappropriately or illegally. As government commissioner, I have done everything possible to maintain the dignity of the office, sometimes even in the face of unfair personal attacks. I have stayed clear of politics and respected the position of government commissioner. I have remained above the fray and respected my office and maintained its neutrality. However, as a proud station who cherishes both the freedoms and family atmosphere this island provides, I will not put a pause on my friendships or family relationships because of politics, not even during an election campaign. I will not refrain from visiting my family and friends, and I will not refrain from speaking with people, even if they are candidates. I will not refrain from being me. In short, I will not put my democracy on pause. But this does not give Mr. Van Putten or anyone else the right to cast aspersions on my integrity or to fabricate stories about me. He contends that he has proof that I have acted inappropriately. I challenge the honorable gentleman to make this evidence to the prosecutor's office. He has a duty too. I recognize that emotions can sometimes run high during an election campaign, but this time Mr. Van Putten has gone too far. He has made a serious allegation in a personal attack which is as hurtful as it is meaningless and baseless. As leaders of our close-knit community, we all have a responsibility to build, not to break down, to develop our island and its people, not destroy, to be level-headed and not loose with our language. I encourage Mr. Van Putten to do the right thing, retract the statement and apologize. This is one station. We all should work together towards the better development for the future of this island, despite our differences.